Hey, Soka lovers, it's Soka Say So. And this chick. And we're back for episode two of season six. And this season, we're tackling the return. This episode, it's climate consciousness. I love it that we're returning to climate consciousness. I feel like it's a good time to really pay attention to what's going on with the earth. And so we are going to get into what you may have seen going around, especially if you're in the Soko world, you've seen Marshall Montano definitely being an advocate of this, but we are talking about the Save the Soil movement, as well as other things we can do to positively impact the climate. We hope you enjoy the show. On a personal note, I myself have ups and downs of doing my personal part to care for the environment. I get like, I read something or I watch something and I get on a high, I'm gonna recycle, I'm gonna do this. I mean, I always recycle, but I'm gonna do this, 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 this. And then I look around and I see many, many people not doing it. And then I get discouraged and I go back down and then I cut. So I'm on, I'm on a wave up and down, right? And right now I'm on, I'm on a return as well. <laughs> <laughs> you're returning to caring about, mm -hmm. <laughs> about and, the environment and to be honest I've missed Masha I really miss Masha he's been on on um uh a, a, an educational journey as he said first first he was on like the longest honeymoon that I've ever seen right <laughs> and then he went on an educational journey when he where he was learning yoga for a year and he has re-emerged with this Save Soil uh, initiative. So tell us something about that. Yeah, definitely. So Marshall has been, you know, he calls himself the monk. He is really involved in like spiritual cleansing and being connected to the earth. And he's changed a lot of his habits. And so one of the things we are seeing him do this year is he's partnering with this international yogi or, or godman as he's referred to in some parts of India, Sadhguru, where they are going around and trying to really push the awareness of the climate crisis and what we can do in, in our individual nations to help save the soil, make sure that we are, are being conscious and paying attention to revitalization of the earth. Um, Sadhguru has been doing this actually for about 24 years now with his Isha Foundation. And so it started out as just kind of pushing the, the awareness, you know, you healthy mind, healthy body, healthy earth. And now he's with Marshall and with other people trying to get nations to sign up to, to have a pledge, to make a commitment, to pay attention to how their nation can positively impact the climate and how we, what we can do agriculturally to make sure we have sustainable life um, this is very interesting because as we've seen recently, he's been going around the Caribbean because, you know, it's my shell too. Um, and they've gotten six nations to sign up. So Guyana and Barbados were the last two to do this in about the last week or so, which kind of makes sense. I mean, lots of our tourism in the Caribbean is based on beach and sand and, and the environment. But Guyana in particular, is, a lot of our tourism is based on ecotourism. So it, it's almost a no brainer <laughs> that we would want to kind of engage with this and, and make the pledge to save the soil. So it's a positive thing that we are all now really paying attention to this. I just like to interject that if you don't know what ecotourism is, then you should definitely subscribe to the Disc Chick um, newsletter and go to the Disc Chick's website to see the articles that she's written about it uh, and get some more info on, on that. Um, because that I have been educated on what ecotourism is. I didn't even know about that. Um, but don't um, become this chick's friend and think that you're going to go to Guyana because she doesn't want to take me there. Um, I really like how someone doesn't want to take me to Grenada, but whatever. <laughs> no, I will definitely take you to Guyana. Um, it, a lot of when people think of Guyana, they think mostly of Georgetown, but there's a lot of life in the interior that is very connected and harmonious with nature. And so just, just go down to Demerara and really get into those like missions and the, the nature resorts and you'll see it. But yeah, I think this, this is great. It's a good reminder to the Caribbean, especially as we're looking at revitalizing our economy 
to try to bring that in the awareness of climate and how that impacts the culture. Yeah, and I think there's so many other things that we can think about on how to impact the planet, right? Um, I spoke about recycling and I was, in prepping for this episode, I immediately think uh, thought about our debate series. And so um, episode three of the BK Rants and Rave debates that are still up on YouTube, um, we had an episode, do we need to rethink the West Indian diet? And in that episode, we not only featured Jock Graham, um, who, is, uh, start, who was at the time starting a, uh, a website that would bring um, West Indian foods around the world. Um, we also spoke to Stabby the Guard, Soka Artist, um, and he is um, co-founder of I'll Be Vegan. And so at one point, they found middle ground where they were both talking about how um, going back to the soil, eating natural organic fruits um, and, and vegetables um, is best for your diet. Um, and they were each talking about, you know, where you can get those things from. Um, but they, there was no debate that, you know, getting things from the soil that were organic was the best um, way to go. Um, so you can try being vegan to help yeah. the planet. And I'll, I'll attest that it's not that hard. People think, oh, if I'm going to be vegan, I'm eating like nuts off the ground or some nonsense. But there, especially nowadays, we've got so many fake everythings, like fake chicken, fake fish, whatever. Um, try to limit that. But, but it's not hard to really adopt that lifestyle. But a lot of Caribbean food, I mean, you can have your pumpkin and rice, you can have your chana, you can have your baigan choka, you can have your, you can have things that you are used to and familiar with that are also vegan. And it is no secret that vegan living actually does positively impact the planet because there are less, we'll call it um, bovine wind. Um, <laughs> But there's less of an impact to the actual like agriculture if you do adopt that lifestyle. And that's one of the five, I think, um, tenets of um, the Isha Foundation, just different ways that you can impact, positively impact the earth is really adopting a vegan lifestyle. Now, I will say it's hard. It's hard, hard. Bacon is delicious. <laughs> But yeah, even if you incorporate it, you know, as, as Stabby had said, even if you incorporate it every now and then you're still making an impact, you still can reduce your, your carbon footprint or your contribution to the pollution of the earth by just, you know, limiting that because it takes a lot to grow things, feed those animals, of course, the slaughterhouses, all of that stuff, it, it takes a toll on the environment, so... We can, we can all do our, our parts. And I make a delicious, delicious vegan Guyanese chow mein. That's right, I said it. I'll take one to go, please. <laughs> um, yeah, so I, I really um, look at what Marshall is doing as, you know, taking a look inward and being conscious and taking responsibility for yourself and your actions, right? So you mentioned at the top of the episode that he's changed his life in many ways. And I mean, I may be stalking him on Instagram. So I can tell you that <laughs> I have watched videos of him where he's eating differently. Um, he is treating the soil differently. He is um, being more reverent. He is farming. Um, and um, I know his father has been a farmer for, for much of his life. And um, I mean, he also has- Best friend is a farmer. <laughs> Get it? <laughs> <laughs> My Soka heads know what I'm talking about. <laughs> um, and so I think when I, when I do that, that down spiral of worrying about what other people are doing, I need to focus on me. Mm -hmm. and what I can contribute to the world, what legacy I can leave to be more conscious about how I'm leaving the, the, the planet, right? Yeah. And, and if I eat more plants and it's not necessarily helping the planet on a whole, but it's making me more 
feel better <laughs> and me be a better person, me be a better parent, then that's good change. Yeah. Think about what you what you're doing for yourself and the, the people around you. And then if you're happier and you feel better, then that could have a trickle, a trickle, trickle down effect on other people. So, so I, I love that takeaway, if nothing else. Yeah, absolutely. It, it starts with the individual, but we did see, you know, from 2020 to now, the impact of this unfortunate global pandemic was that it reduced carbon emissions. Like it was actually good for the planet because we weren't moving around. I think the last number I saw was 2.6 metric tons of carbon emissions, which is uh, about 7% decrease um, in carbon emissions globally. Like there were pictures circulating on social media where it's like, oh shoot, I didn't know you could see the mountains from here. <laughs> like, look at that. When you don't have pollution in the air, like serious heavy pollution in the air, just from people doing what we what we do now in modern life, when you put a stop to that, the earth had time to heal. Like we saw the change, the difference. I mean, we also saw a hit to the economy and oil prices, but it's another Oprah show. That's different. Mm, mm, mm. But we definitely saw that it was actually good for the planet if we just like <laughs> take a step back and maybe not do a lot of those things that negatively impact the earth, what we consider modern living. Another takeaway that I have from the Safe Soil Mission and from um, Marshall's newfound education is that maybe put back into, <laughs> it's not just about what we take from the land, put back, right? Um, like today I ordered food from a vegan restaurant and you can, while you're putting your food order in, you can order them to plant a tree. For $3, they will plant a tree. And like, that's a small way to give back. And I mean, you could plant. Yeah, I'm like, it's cheaper if you can plant a tree. <laughs> right, you can plant anything in your backyard if you have that space, right? Um, if you're not in concrete jungle, like some of us are, but you can find ways to give back to the soil um, and it will replenish, you know, the area around you, which if everybody's doing that, then we're helping everyone. So yeah. I, I am, I am um, encouraged that um, so many people are um, viewing um the, the safe soil um, message and that they are at least thinking about being conscious about the climate. Because um, for a while there under, you know, the one we will never talk about again, there was a lot oh, of people, <laughs> there were a lot of people that were very vocal that climate change is not a thing and that we don't have to make any sort of changes in our lifestyle to um, better the planet. And I think no matter how you look at it, <laughs> we've got yeah. to give back so we can get. Yeah. And I think the last year of he who shall not be named's administration in 2019, the earth was at the hottest it ever had been. <laughs> like, if that don't say a thing, I'm just... <laughs> But yeah, we, we definitely need to think about it. We need to think about how our actions impact other people as well as ourselves and as well as the planet in general. I love this move to be more harmonious. I love nature hikes. When we went to Ghana, we went through, you know, we did that canopy walk, like things like that. Those experiences when you go other places that are nature centered, we need to still have those. If we ruin this planet, we're all going to be doing a canopy walk over like molten lava. Like this is it's just not okay. And I would be remiss if I didn't mention um, Dr. Crisada Briant. We, um, we had her as a sponsor um, for a while. And I, I have to say, take off your shoes and touch the soil. It's mm -hmm. called grounding. And it can change your day. Just to touch the soil, you get back in alignment. Deep breathing of clean air can help your anxiety, your depression, can help your body circulate blood. And touching the soil makes an actual difference in your body. Mm -hmm. And it, 
<laughs> just for that alone, save the soil. So that <laughs> you, can, you cannot go crazy. <laughs> How about that? I'm, I'm with it. I'm with it. And anybody who lives in the Caribbean or a tropical climate will know that, come on, what, what do people come for? They come from that for that escape from, you know, like you said, the concrete jungle where we don't get really a lot of cool breezes and, and water misting on you. Like we don't get that all the time. So it's nice to be able to think of that in terms of just like the economy of the Caribbean and what we want to do going forward. I love it that six nations have joined this pledge. Um, I'll wait to see what it actually means in policy and practice, but I like the idea that they're coming together to say, yes, this is important for us. This is good for our economy as well as for our people and then for the planet in general. I mean, nobody's gonna want to come to the Caribbean if we don't have nice natural resources and, and beaches and you know, ways for people to get away from the hustle and bustle of their lives. If we end up looking like everywhere else, then what's the point? If there's no fruit for my rum punch, why are we doing it? I'm with you, but I'm gonna drink the rum whether there's fruit or not. <laughs> <laughs> Although I need the sugar cane to grow to make the rum. So yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Listen. Take it back mm. to the soil. Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, when you put it in, mm, mm, there's a crisis for real. I can't run out of rum. <laughs> Hello, hi. <laughs> How would that be for our economy? <laughs> Listen, on that note, um, can I rave? <laughs> I, I all of a sudden thought like, wait, am I in a junk rat? <laughs> <laughs> We're just reminiscing. Uh, look at that. We wouldn't be able to have the drunk rate. Oh man, it's a trickle down effect. <laughs> it's a trickle down effect. Y'all save the soil, save the drunk rates. Yeah. <laughs> uh, let, let's, let's rave it out before I start going back down the side. <laughs> no. Okay, stay on the high, stay on the positive. Let's go. <laughs> down, downward spiral. All right, so this week, I, I feel like you would guess what song I would choose for this week. And if I were you, I would guess Masha Montano, yes, and Drupati for Real Unity, right? Because he was in India, even though it's not an Indian song, it's Pakistani. But he was in India and we're talking about unifying the world, a global movement to take care of the soil, but no. This week I have chosen a song that does have Caribbean artists on it, um, but it is not that one. This song is Soil Song. Yeah, that's the title, The Soil Song. And it features Masha Montano and Marge Blackman. La 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 This very body is soil. My body, your body, everybody is just soil body. The magic of soil is it turns death into life. If you 
you're watching us on video, um, I was doing the dance because there's actually a dance that goes along with it. So you can be hip with me or you can come up with your own dances like this chick, whatever. I like my dance. It's about the individual. You do what makes you happy. We are raving. We're trying to feel better. We are trying to enlighten ourselves, lighten our loads, lighten our carbon footprints. Yes. Don't mock my dance. Uh, no, I wasn't <laughs> mocking it. I was just saying, do what I'm doing. Come on, man. <laughs> no. Mm. Whatever. All right, guys. I, I enjoy the return of climate consciousness, but I will also caution you that we have seen many times during any major calamity, there is always somebody who's trying to get over on the people. So if you are going to sign up with any organization to save the planet, to do better, to do anything, do your research. Do your research first. Keep your eyes open and don't blame me. <laughs> the key thing is don't blame me, okay? That was so cryptic. <laughs> it's the return of protecting yourself ah yes 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 definitely guys we um we encourage you to do your research but we also encourage you to think of ways that you can on an individual level or even in your family in your household or get involved in the community figure out a way to just make the world better i mean we've seen it when something happens across the globe from us it can affect us so we are all one people let's try and figure out how to move through this life with the least amount of trouble as possible. Let's do the least harm to each other and the planet as possible. So think of ways you can you can save the soil, even if the soil is just in your backyard. <laughs> exactly. I would love to hear from all of you. What is one thing that you think you can incorporate into your life to make this planet a better place? I myself am going to try to stick to one plant-based meal a day. I would like to at least do that. I don't know if I could go full vegan yet, but just one plant-based meal a day, start there. And then see me at the end of the series. We never know. I'm gonna get her there, guys. I'm gonna get her there. <laughs> no, I love that. Let's see, what's one thing that I will do? I will drink more rum. So that there is more demand for rum, so that we have more sugarcane fields. You're welcome, planet. <laughs> no, that's All not all right. Um, that's one <laughs> way to do it. <laughs> I feel like if you create the demand for it, then we can't cut down the sugarcane fields and put up mini malls, right? So there we go. I am doing my part. You're welcome. Thank you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I wonder if I could get people to sign up for that. <laughs> I'm sure you could. <laughs> Save the earth, drink more rum. <laughs> that sounds like a very good slogan. I love it. We Where do I sign? Coming soon. <laughs> oh my goodness, guys. Thank you so much for joining us. Make sure you are following us. Follow Soka Say So on all social media or go to SokaSaySo.com. Follow this chick on all social media or go to dyschick.com. And follow us, go to our website, subscribe to us on every platform that we're on because we're kind of big deal. We're on things. Uh, BKRantandRave.com. <laughs> okay, bye.